Right then, hello and welcome back to Talker Race Driver 3 and the final video of 2022. And what better way to end off the year is to finish off tier 13 with the HPDC V8 Supercar Series. So our objective this time is to finish third or above. We have uh, two versions of the Ford Falcon and two versions of the Holden Commodore. I believe we're going to be in the Ford Falcon BA for this one. Uh, we have three races of five laps each, Eastern Creek, Queensland Raceway and Adelaide Street Circuit, so that's cool. And race rules end 20 cars on the grid, black, black and white flags, points go all the way down to 20th. And for this one, we are going to do qualifying, because why not? And yes, we're in the Ford Falcon B8 n Dick Johnson Racing, and uh, it's quite a hefty beast, 1,355 kilograms, 620 brake horsepower, 0-60 in a mere 3.9 seconds. Mm, lovely. Right, let's get race one then underway for qualifying and see where we line up. Hopefully this one shouldn't be too bad. We can always take turn one pretty flat out. And we can always late break as well. Slide it around. Well, remember, this is the longer version of Eastern Creek. A couple of cars are also qualifying as well. So, as always, I'm only going to do the one lap and then end qualifying and we can see where we line up. Fairly stable cars, not oversteering too much, and don't really lose the rear end under braking either. Get around the last corner. Nicely done. And what is our lap time going to be then? It's not going to be great. We'll probably end up, you know, near the back of the field. Uh, but our lap time then is a 126.26, so that's not too bad. Right, let's end qualifying then and see where we line up. Yeah, 11th place, not too bad. I think probably if we hadn't qualified, we would have ended up like 15th or 16th, as they usually do. Uh, but Luff is on pole position, Wanless and Fernandez, the top three. So uh, yeah, let's get the first race in underway. I'll try my best. No promises, though. So I'm assuming, then, that this championship is like a feeder series to the main V8 supercar. It's a bit like the Nationwide series in NASCAR or Formula 2. Because uh, some of the names in the roster I don't really uh, recognize. I don't know, is this series still going? I have no idea. Yep, tire temperatures again. Scotty's favourite. Oh, that was a bit dodgy. Got the car alongside, so I'm going to have to give him a bit of room. Get out of the way. At least with these, you don't have a lot of oversteer. I mean, you get a wheel spin coming out of the turns, but I mean, it doesn't spin the car around to a massive extent. Unless you get pushed in the rear. I don't know if we got pushed then or we just slid it wide. Anyway, that is lap one coming to a close. And a time of a 131.41, so not bad. Get it around. To be honest, I do like the older variation of the Ford Falcon with the quad headlights. 
you know, the newer Falcon looks really good, but there's just something that looks really cool about the old version. I think it's because of the Ford Credit Falcon that you had on Gran Turismo 4 or 3. It just looks really snazzy with the, uh, the front end. It looks very gnarly. Right, you can sod off. Ooh, stop losing it. I'm still in the top 10, so that is... I'm trying. This corner is such a pain in the arse, as you can see the AI are even struggling. Yeah, I am trying to. Let's have a look at our car, shall we? A bit dented on the rear. Front end looks alright, though. Don't even have to change up into sixth gear. Oh, yeah, we do, actually. Come on, stop spinning the wheels, get a move on. doesn't like the downshifting in turns. No, he's still there. He keeps trying to get on the inside before this corner. He can bloody well sod off. Got to be careful in this corner, this little complex. Okay, not too bad. We're losing ground on the top dozen or so. But that's fine. So we've got two races to go after this. We should be able to capitalize on at least one of them. Stop sliding, that's slowing me down, come on. Ooh, the tires are going off, I think. I definitely think the tyres are going off. The car is not responding that great. We gained a little bit of time on the bloke in seventh place, but... We've got one more lap. I don't think we're going to make any more positions, to be fair. So I think a top eight is all we're going to get. Ooh, massive slide. Stay away. This is actually quite tough. I'm concentrating so hard. No. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that was bloody lucky. No, I just hope they don't punt me in the rear. Around the last complex.
Okay, I think we just about survived that by the skin of our teeth, but... Eighth place is still not bad. Had the tires not started to go off, I think we would have been able to catch the blokes in front, but... As it is, you know, eighth place, not the end of the world. So an eighth place finish, not a bad way to kick off the final championship in tier 13. Dean Canto though does get the victory with Cyfleet in second. I think that's how it's spelt anyway, Cyfleet, and Howard in third. So that means then we have 144 points to Dean Canto's 192, but at least Dean Canto is driving for my team. So at least I do have a competent teammate this time, unlike every other championship. Anyway, let's get on qualifying then for round two at Queensland Raceway. Alright, let's see if we can get more lucky this time. Now, these tracks I haven't raced on before. I've had no practice around either. It's been many years since I have completed Toka Race Driver 3, so any prior knowledge I have had with these tracks is long gone. So if I suck around them, well, you know, can't be helped. Again, more snap over steer, but not too bad. Last corner, and we have a lap time, a benchmark of a 105.81. Which isn't too bad. Probably do another two laps or so. Just to get more of a, a grip with the track. Oh, come on. I didn't get an advantage. That is absolutely, that is as bad as Automobilista 2 around Donington. The last chicane, the Goddard chicane, you touch a blade of grass, like, oh, lap invalidated. You don't even go wide, you don't take all wheels off the, uh, the track surface either. Yeah, that was really bad. You touch the grass, I went wide, and they accused me of gaining an advantage. Well, blow it out of your ass. Okay, I'll make this a last lap then. Okay, turn one was a bit messy, but that's fine. Get way too much wheel spin with these cars. I don't think we're going to do any better on the lap times. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, I'll call that a day on that one. Right, retire from qualifying. Where does that put us? Ninth place, three seconds off from Luff with a 102.39. That is ridiculous. Uh, my teammate Dean Canto is fourth. So, oh well, this is going to be hell. So, yeah, let's get race two then underway. Okay, hopefully get better fortunes this time. And off we go. Uh, I tried to block the line, didn't work. And of course, getting swamped immediately. How the hell did they get such a damn good start? Get out of the way. At times, this game really isn't that fair. 
You see how quick they pull away at the very start. Leave your ass for dust. My goal for this one is trying to catch up to Dean Canto, who is dropping back and uh, push him off so he won't gain that many points. Right, catching up. Oh, don't come back across. Right, I have the inside line. I will take it. I think that is Dean Canto directly ahead. Yes, I am absolutely sure because his gold orb. Great overtaking. Not really, he spun off. I just took advantage of it. Catch up, getting his draft. Come on, stay focused. I'm trying. Easier said than done. Okay, we're in his draft. Cool. up into 6th. Nowhere near a podium at the minute, Scott, so please don't exaggerate. So plenty time to go, though. need one of these guys up ahead to make a mistake so I can catch up but they're just pulling away there's no way to catch Drafting isn't working as well as I'd hoped. Oh, don't push me wide, you son of a bitch. God damn it. Well, I'll get him back. Alright, final lap. Well, he made a mistake. I can probably catch up to him, maybe. No, nope, the tires are going off. Go away. Look how bloody quick they can catch you. It's stupid. Top six. 
Not the end of the world. But not great either. It's all up to you. Now make it happen from here on in. Yeah, not going to happen, Scotty. I will uh, rain on your parade on that one. So, uh, Cyfleet 1, McDonald, Wamless, McCrow, and Luff. Uh, so that means I'm fifth in points. Uh, we could still do it. You know, it's not the end of the world. We can still make a top three. If we can make a top three and beat the criteria, I'll be happy with that. Um, but it's getting the top three. That's the main problem. Anyway, let's have a look down. Adelaide for the last race. Let's get qualifying sorted. This one shouldn't be too bad, at least. At least we should hopefully get a top five. That's what I'm aiming for for this one. Probably do two or three laps around here just to cement now a good good enough lap whether it will be good enough I have no idea keep it in second gear to avoid wheel spin and our first flying lap then is a 12946 we'll probably shave off a couple of seconds from that Good news is that we're gaining on the car in front. Our time is a 128.16, so yeah, I don't think we're going to get any better than that, to be fair. Um, so let's have a look, see where that puts us. Hey, pole position then from McDonald, Dean, and Evangelio. So not too bad. Canto is fifth, um, but yeah, not too bad. So let's see how we get on then in race conditions. Can we secure this pole position into a win? Let's find out. And already picked up a massive lead, so yes, I think we can win this one. Which should hopefully cement a place in the top three. I don't think I'm going to win the championship, but a top three is what we're aiming for. Shut up.
I mean, it does help that I really do enjoy Adelaide. You know, it is a very, very fun circuit. Is lap one complete. Four to go. Oops. Yeah, shut your face. because I'm pulling out a massive lead now, so we're, you know, about four or five seconds ahead of the main pack. I'm just hoping Dean Canto can drop back and lose more positions, so we won't have you know, a problem leading the championship, or whoever is leading the championship at the moment. So I think he's in ninth place at the moment, the championship leader. thing is around this track as well, the tyres are going to go off incredibly quickly. Cones everywhere as well. So what I'm assuming then is that the AI struggle around street circuits but are more aggressive around the uh, more flowing circuits, so... Because I'm really thrashing the AI at the moment. Also, is it just me, or does this back straight on this game feel a lot shorter? Going around this corner, this part here is usually a lot longer, but it feels really short on this one. Or is that just me? Could just be me, I don't know. Right, final lap. Final lap though. Keep focused. Don't need to keep focused, I'm way ahead of second place, so 
rack up our only victory for the V8. Just glance the wall a little bit. Well, there's nothing I can do about that, Scotty, so shut up. Spin it. And that, as they say, is that. I actually finally scored the entire field and decimated the last race. Unfortunately, I'm not going to win the championship, but I should hopefully finish third in points, which is what I'm hoping for. And there we go. So, let's see then. So, we win from Evangelio, or whatever, and McDonald's. And, ah, we finished second in the end, so that is not too bad. 498 to 486 from Kanto. So, yeah, not too bad then. Congratulations, you achieved your goal in the HP DC V8 Supercar Series. Well done. Now we can use the cars in free race, time trial, and multiplayer modes. Fan bloody tastic. So that is tier 13 wrapped up. So next time and in the new year will be at tier 14. And the poll is still going to be ongoing. So uh, yeah, cast your votes and I will see you all next year. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Happy New Year. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.